do you know exactly how to handle a skeptic in the audience because if you're a speaker if you're a leader if you're a CEO if you're an IT professional if you're a banker if you're a manager if you're a doctor if you're a lawyer just like many of our clients what happens is sometimes they will find a skeptic in the audience you're teaching something they will say they will say but yeah it doesn't work uh, I have uh, I, I know something else and you know that's their bullshitting now how do you handle you can't call them bullshit so how do you say they are bullshit without calling them bullshit people are good but sometimes their thinking is bullshit I have also been their bullshit guy in the past where my thinking was low that's the results were not showing up once I changed my mindset when I once I reprogrammed my mind results showed up in my health in my relationship in my career in my peace of mind the bank account in my friendship in my connections in the network same thing can happen for you not an exception I'm an example for you and I can show you how all the other people inside our program as you can see on the screen they are also becoming examples my question is when will you when will you become that when will you that's the real question isn't it so now how to handle a skeptic very simple thing I'm gonna give you two specific sentences you can use anytime to turn people around let's say you are giving a talk and somebody raises hands you know uh, and this they are asking valuable questions see uh, there is a there is a difference between asking a question because they have a doubt versus telling that you are wrong the difference example let's say that uh, you are giving a cough syrup to your son what can your son say Papa why am I having cough syrup but if your son says are you sure this is not poison uh, probably that's not a very intelligent question do you understand now if people are asking you say, second category of question in the audience back in the days it, it used to happen doesn't happen anymore to us but the, the, there are the two phrases first of all when somebody you tell something let's say you are saying that you know just by if you have a night ritual um, properly you can have more confidence somebody says it is impossible to sleep without the cell phone at night the first question you should ask is uh, well my quick question is thank you for asking but how do you know that how do you know that somebody says it doesn't work uh, how do you know that the moment you ask that they'll oh, oh, they will get defensive now they're giving an answer they will talk all the past history about things that they have not worked or they will say things like I have heard I have heard then you ask them the second question okay that's interesting you say that I appreciate that um, are you open to look at it from another angle how do you know that uh, let's say you say that you don't have to become you don't have to wake up at 5 in the morning only just to become successful like to become highly successful you can wake up late too like at 6 or 6 30 or 7 somebody says no Brahma Muhurta is very important uh, how do you know that oh well I <laughs> So, 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 somebody said a video, sent a video to me on whatsapp from a guru uh, who said Brahma Muth is important oh that's interesting you say that uh, are you open to looking at it are you, okay so it's are you open to looking it should be looking are you open to looking at it from another angle yeah sure well you know one thing I've seen thank you for that question Satish one thing I've seen is sometimes you can wake up early in the morning and st you still sometimes you don't don't know what to do so one thing I tell my coaching clients is it's not when you wake up it's about what you do with the first hour after you wake up so that when you wake up you wake up feeling fresh you have a plan and you are motivated to take action on that plan so what is more important waking up at 5 and not knowing what to do or waking up at 6 6 30 and having a plan so that you are properly rested what do you think is most, most important they'll say yeah at 6 30 boom how do you know that and are you looking at an, another opportunity now sometimes people tell me for example that Bishal have joined some other courses it did not work will your course work for me and I asked them how do you know that how do you know that our course is same because it's not people have 
invested lakhs of rupees in different programs they did not get results they come to us happened to archana pritesh archana joined two different courses by people who are very popular on facebook you know wearing po ponytail and, uh, and and giving speeches and you can see their ads all the time that's okay you know that's okay people make mistakes in their decisions making sometimes they she came back to us and now she transformed her life you can see her seeing it talking about it right now what have you done before coming to our program like what how many courses did you join or again without taking name what kind of courses were these that you tried joining that maybe the transformation where the transformation did not happen um can you talk to us about that so people understand yeah sure uh before coming to this program i joined uh, two public speaking courses uh you know th those are the very popular courses which uh, you know we always uh, see on social media and uh, even i was one of them and even i joined there but let me tell you like you know when you become a part of thousands you get lost hmm you try to see that connection with a mentor or with a trainer but somehow that does not come into alignment and that's right. where you get lost and you get uh, diverted distracted from your entire uh, focus and you are not able to understand you get confused and then you get into that mode that what should i do where hmm. should i go where should i run who will guide me who will help me and make me you know pull me out from that entire so how do you know that the second question is if you have joined some other courses you did not get the results my question is are you open to transforming your life by going to a real mentor you are okay then you can call the number you can see on the screen call the number talk to one of my team members i will tell you exactly what you need and in case we feel you are a good fit we'll first of all invite you to a live interactive zoom session where you can see exactly how we do it and then you can make a decision whether you are the right fit for our program and we can make a decision together okay i am looking forward to meeting you i'm looking forward to helping you transform your life and transform your communication from every different angle okay every single angle of your life that's my tip for you right now bishal sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection before joining this program i was uh, more of like being something who is not who am not uh, like I, i am not that person i was somebody like being somebody else uh, somehow oh. i was trying to make my own videos and uh, you know bring that authenticity in me uh, but somewhere i felt that you know that is not coming up i still i have that stiffness in me i have to be like a free bird right and share my vulnerable stories my vulnerable side with people but still uh, somewhere i felt that you know i have <coughs> the courage number one thing and second thing was that will people really listen to my story mm. that was really uh, you know that that holded me back so nice actually, that was really i was missing so I'm, i'm again i'm writing down because this is so interesting you said I was speaking like somebody else. And I'm curious to know you are speaking like who? Like somebody that you watched videos of and other people you were trying to act like them or 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 what? Uh you know we in like human beings uh, love to copy right they are good imitators and uh, i i still remember before joining this program i signed up for uh, uh, you know the everyday mentor that email comes at 9:45 am in the morning from bishal and uh, i still remember when i enrolled for the first program first level program confident speakers program and i asked bishal that uh, this is my video uh, i'm sharing it with uh, it with you bishal and i really want to know where am i actually going can you please help me and right and that was the real feedback that time i received that you know you be you and mm. that felt like you know a instant connection that yes this is what i actually i was looking for right and uh, then i realized that you know it's not me who i'm speaking i'm trying to be somebody else maybe influenced by somebody who are on social media or may not be but it's not coming naturally hmm that was the part right i got it so consciously or unconsciously you are speaking like somebody else you don't know you don't know who you are speaking like yeah but you know that you are not speaking like you yes yes okay and you also said that i felt some kind of a stiffness that um 
you know i was not able to express myself fully i was did not have the right courage and you said also that i wanted to feel like a free bird and you also said here that will people really listen to my i'm just writing down everything you're saying will people listen to my story so you had that that fear that will people listen to what i have to say And this was not a new problem. It didn't come suddenly for you because I know you told me, and we don't have to take names of the courses that you went through. We don't need to bash people at all here. We respect everybody. We admire everybody. Respect. Uh, well, that's that's uh, that's that's something to be earned. But what have you done before coming to our program? Like, what? How many courses did you join? Or again, without taking name, what kind of courses were these that you tried joining that? maybe the transformation where the transformation did not happen um then you talk to us about that so people understand yeah sure uh before coming to this program i joined uh, two public speaking courses uh you know th- those are the very popular courses which uh, you know we always uh, see on social media and uh, even i was one of them and even i joined there but let me tell you like you know when you become a part of thousands you get lost hmm you try to f- see that connection with a mentor or with a trainer but somehow that does not come into alignment and that's right. where you get lost and you get uh, diverted distracted from your entire uh, focus and you're not able to understand you get confused and then you get into that mode that what should i do where hmm. should i go where should i run who will guide me who will help me and make me you know pull me out from that entire Yeah I was I was interviewing you know somebody else uh, from your batch Pritesh if you remember yes. and we were talking about the same thing because this is a like a dark side of the quote and quote coaching industry because everybody is saying I'm a coach I'm a coach I'm a trainer I'm a trainer which is amazing I also feel and I would love to hear your opinion about your experience with this because a lot of times I think when people they market they say you are going to be part of something will help you and the moment you pay money you realize you are a part of a 500 1000 2000 3000 people group and you are like the word you said is i i felt lost so my question is uh what do you think was missing there in those programs uh, and you said these are very popular courses where you see the ads all the time on social media so what was what what was missing on these programs for which you did not get the desired results in public speaking uh if i have to you know say it in few words it would be customized solution for your problems mm. that was really missing so there was no customized solution absolutely not see when you uh, when you are beginner and when you join such courses you learn to speak right but you don't know like where are you going you are just right. speaking and speaking and speaking and uh, as you always say you know the more you do wrong like the way you do wrong more of it you start doing it continuously so that's yeah. the case that happened with me even i i you, i still felt that i had that stiffness in my body language maybe i am not very good at my voice modulation or maybe i'm not that impactful when i share my story and that's the reason i feel that there is no connection between me and my audience so that was really missing so let's let's get this straight it's not that you are not trying you are trying you are also practicing yes but you did not know that if my practice is right can somebody tell me what i am doing wrong and nobody was telling that was the problem there exactly okay correct thank you